Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Aisha Creative Channel. This is Aisha and today we are going to talk about why being detached to outcome is important and how do you actually go about letting go and manifesting your dreams. Um, but before I start, I would actually like to um, clarify that from now on, I'm just going to share with you my experience. Um, I'm not going to share with you um, some concepts that I haven't actually experimented on myself. And I would also like to make a commitment that whatever earnings that I get from Facebook, I will donate half of it to a charity of my choice. Um, yeah, I don't have any specific costs, so it will be for random causes. But yeah, I just want to go ahead and make this commitment to myself that half of what I earn on Facebook, I will donate it to charity. So let's get on with it. So as you know, what is commonly heard when you, you're starting out in the law of attraction is that you have to let go in order to manifest what you want in your life. And you have to be detached to the outcome during this whole process. You have to be in the allowing mode. That means you have to be joyful so that what you want can manifest faster. And you have to live in the present moment in order to manifest your desires. So what, this is me in the past, uh, I couldn't link how letting go and being unattached to the outcome could actually make my dreams come true. I didn't know how to let go and live in the present moment. I found it hard to, of course, let go and trust the universe, trust God, whatever it is for you. And every day I needed to imagine myself actually being wealthy and driving around in my dream car. And it's a bit weird if I don't imagine that I feel lost. And I was actually so addic addicted to it that living in the present moment, living in the reality that I was in, was actually unbearable. And when I don't see my life the way I imagine it to be, when my life is not what I imagined it to be, I get frustrated and I did not know how to be happy in my then circumstances. And I felt jealous when I see my friends and my cousins living my dream, you know, being happily married, having a house, having a car. And I felt angry that they had what I wanted and I don't. And I started blaming everyone, especially my parents, for my situation. Mostly, it was my parents who got the brunt of it. Um, I was unaware of the fact that I was actually the one who created my reality. I created that circumstance that I was in. And by thinking and feeling these negative thoughts and emotion, I have actually successfully kept myself in a state of lack, a state of wanting. And I have successfully kept my dream from manifesting into my life. Making decisions and taking actions from these negative states were often a disaster, as I'm sure a lot of you would know. Um, I kept feeling stuck, um, stuck in a loop of unsuccessful ventures. I tried out a lot of things. I tried out sales, insurance, house, I tried everything. I tried even writing a book and selling it. <laughs> that went very wrong. And yeah, I was actually pretty much stuck in being a failure. Um, of course, right now, on hindsight, I did not regret my past because it has made me realize what I realize now, that I, am, I could actually create my own reality. And it has actually given me a lot of wisdom. And I am hoping to share my wisdom with you guys out there so that you don't, you can save yourself from making the mistakes that I made. made. And although it took me a l many hard knocks to finally learn, I took a terrible tumble when almost rock bottom. And how I learned to eventually let go and be detached to the outcome and actually manifest my dreams. Well, basically, it took a lot of work to learn to surrender and be in the present moment and actually enjoy it. 
There are days that I found it impossible, but I can safely tell you that these bad days are few and far between now, and I feel good most of the time. And even when I feel bad these days, I could actually use whatever I've learned to actually get back uh, in line and get back to a joyful state of mind. And the three things that work for me, and are still I'm still practicing it now, is uh, was a transcendental meditation, and especially Dr. Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditation. And lastly, right now, which I found that is liberating me more and more from my suffering is my vipassana practice. I I love it actually. This is like amazing. Um, I'm also learning to bring my meditation to my everyday life, you know, to be mindful at all times. Um, I know that mindfulness has been, um, I guess, very popular out there and there are a lot of people who are skeptical about it, but it actually works. It actually makes you more aware of all these things that you have been doing unconsciously to actually create these negative situations for yourself. And Dr. Joe's dispenser's uh, meditation, tuning into new potentials in particular, had helped me a lot. Uh, I'll share the link below. Um, basically, this meditation has two obvious benefits for me. It helped me to let go and live in the present moment. I'm still doing it right now, actually. Um, it helps me to connect the emotions of my future, um, the emotions that I will feel when my dreams has already come true. Um, as you know, according to the law of attraction, which is essentially the law of vibration, you do not attract what you want, you attract who you are. So in order to have what you want, you have to be that thing first. Like you, if you want to be happily married, you have to feel happy and in love with life first, then, you know, the universe will bring love into your life. Um, so I get to rehearse every morning how I would feel, how I would act, and the decisions I would make when I am living my dream life. And I get to bring this throughout my day. I, 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 as consciously as I can, I'll practice this throughout my day. When certain things happen to me, I'll be like, how would my future self act in this situation? How would my future self feel in this situation? You know, when uh, you look into your bank account and you do not have that amount of money, naturally you will panic and you will feel like you will feel like it's like quite a bummer that you don't have that amount of money that you want. But if you are already living your future self, you feel quite relaxed in a situation. You feel quite abundant already. With or without the money, you will feel abundant. You will be grateful that you have enough. So that is how I bring this practice into uh, my daily life. And I'm still trying. It, it takes a lot of work, guys. But it gets easier as you keep doing it. And yeah, like I say, through the day, I will act like I'm living my dream life and I'm having the best time of my life. I'm enjoying everything. I'm enjoying my life and I'm actually feeling free. Um, ironically, it helps me to be happy in the now, although you are adopting the emotions of your future, but you're actually living it now. So um, one of important realization is that if I am already living my dream, I do not need to have to keep revisiting and visualizing it because I already have it, right? So that's how I learned to let go of my dream and surrender because I'm already living it. I don't even need to look for it, you know, to see if it has manifested or not. So, yes, and I simply get to be in the present moment, living my dreams now. The second one uh, that really helped was Vipassana meditation, like I said. I will not go into transcendental meditation today because I, <laughs> I'm still figuring what it did for me. But what transcendental meditation did was it put me in a very happy state. It's like, I would call it my quick fix. Um, but I need to learn about it further before I share it with you guys. But I've been doing it the longest. 
Um, so Vipassana meditation helps me with the part of being unattached to outcome. It helped me to realize that everything is actually impermanent, like nothing lasts forever, right? Eventually you'll be dead and you'll still be alone. So you don't put a lot of attachment to things and you don't put a lot of attachment to feelings because um, Vipassana meditation actually teach, teaches you that or even if you don't want to do meditation, you can just read uh, books on Buddhism. It's, it just states that all this suffering is actually caused by your attachment to a certain feeling or a certain outcome. And it helps me recognize the patterns in my thinking and my behavior. Like throughout the day, I, like I said, I've been trying to bring my meditation practice throughout the day to be more conscious of my thoughts to focus more on my breathing when I'm doing work, uh, try to practice Vipassana in my daily life. It is very hard. Sometimes I forget. Actually, most of the time I forget. But the moment, but I'm beginning to be very good at catching myself thinking this way and that way in a negative way. So it helps me recognize the patterns in my thinking and behavior and also um, how I react to a certain situation at work, at home. And sometimes I realize that it's just a program response. It, like what I'm thinking is actually not me. It's just the nature of thoughts. Um, I'm still learning further into um, Buddhism and Vipassana meditation. And of course, I will share what I learned with you guys and what is effective. So, in conclusion, with these methods, I realize that I am starting to manifest things faster. And in some cases, I do not even have to visualize. Merely thinking about something will, you know, cause it to manifest. And on good days, it's very fast. And I realize, like Dr. Joe says, um, all this manifestation uh, occurs when I'm actually in a very playful, very happy mood. mood sorry. And... Uh, then, you know, when I, I'm not even thinking of manifesting that certain thing or even looking out for it, it just happened when, you know, I'm being very happy and I'm just being present in the moment, enjoying myself. So, best thing is I do not need to wait for my dreams come to true to feel happy and to feel that I'm in love with life. I'm already loving my life. Of course, I have to admit that there are bad days, but... um. Like I said, the bad days are few and far between right now. So, enjoying the present moment has enabled me to be in the allowing mode. Um, like I said, making things faster because apparently you need to be joyful and living the moment in order to make things happen to you faster. Actually, I'm going to make a video on this. If you notice the um, successful people and the people who are like happily married, who have it all, they're actually happy people. If you read their biographies, if you watch their interviews, they're actually a bunch of happy, positive people. And things usually happen easier for them because they're, like, they're not attached to the outcome also. They don't expect much. And they're just being happy and in the moment and laughing and enjoying what they do. And that's how they get you know, successful. Things just manifest. What their thoughts just manifest. And of course, you're a happy person. You think good thoughts, right? And, yep, like I said, some days I fall off the wagon. It takes work to change your life, but it is definitely worth it, okay? I've spent quite a sum of money um, actually doing all this, um, all these uh, courses on law of attraction and all. And uh, what I found was this... Three things actually is what's working for me right now. So to save you all your monies, just tune in to Dr. Joe Dispenza's teaching and also teachings on Vipassana meditation um, via Yogi Lab or um, the lectures given by Mr. S. N. Goenka. You can find it on the links below. I will share it in the links below and also... Uh, yeah, you can. I'll, I'll also try to share some books with you in future videos, books that have actually um, made some impacts on me, helped me uh, in the process of changing my life. So yes, that's all today. Thank
I mean, thank you for staying tuned and sticking through the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And of course, like I said, half of my earnings from YouTube will go to um, a charity of my cause. Uh, you don't have to worry if I'm telling the truth or not because karma will catch on me, catch up on me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, true. Alright guys, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.